The next generation of the Pokemon TCG releases today in Japan, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and it is way too overhyped and way too expensive, and it's our fault. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel, Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, God loves you, and that there is an awesome plan for your life. That's right. Scarlet and Violet comes out today in Japan on the same day that Crown Zenith comes out. And everybody's so excited about Crown Zenith that people aren't really seeing what's going on with Scarlet and Violet in Japan and some of the things that have been happening with Japanese products over the past couple of releases. Now, Scarlet and Violet, don't get me wrong, looks great. The cards awesome we've got new card types we've got new pokemon we've got like terrestrial is it terrestrial or out of there's there's crazy beautiful new cards there's this shining terrestrial type of gyarados that i'm probably saying it wrong because i haven't really been able to keep up with exactly what they're called there's some gorgeous cards in scarlet and violet they're bringing back ex they're bringing in new pokemon i think this set is going to be so freaking fun to open with that being said there's stuff going on in Japan that's making it incredibly overhyped and incredibly expensive. And basically what's going on is about two years ago, nobody really, not very many people were concerned with getting product from Japan. We just wait till English. And then over the years, what happened is Japanese product got more and more popular. More and more Americans wanted Japanese product because the quality legitimately is better than English product. The card quality is better. They look better. Uh, the quality control is better. So for a lot of reasons like that, people over here, us Americans and other, you know, Australians and other Europeans really wanted Japanese product because you could also get your hands on the new set a couple months early and kind of get to see what was going on. And so all of that has led us to this moment now where it's a brand new set. It's the base set of a brand new set and you can't find it for less than two, two and a half times MSRP over in Japan, which is insane. MSRP for a booster box in Japan is usually around like 40 to 45 bucks. Uh, and for that, you they have various types of booster boxes, but that's typically what MSRP is. And so now we're in a situation with Scarlet and Violet where it's overhyped. Uh, it's really, really expensive. Uh, you, you can't get Scarlet and Violet on eBay for you know less than $100. Uh, and so for instance, even myself, I like to buy a case or two of the new Japanese product and offer it to sell to my patrons uh, and my you know, subscribers and stuff like that for a good price. I'm probably not gonna be getting any Scarlet and Violet because it is so expensive for me to get that I would have to charge $4 a pack that's like, I'd have to charge two, two and a half, three times MSRP just to be able to make my money back and make it worth my time of, you know, doing all of the work to open the packs and package it up and maybe make, you know, maybe make a 10% profit. Uh, and because of that, I, I probably won't be getting any of this product. And that's kind of where we're at is we're seeing Scarlet and Violet is so incredibly expensive for no reason. This is the base set of a new generation of Pokemon cards. The Pokemon company is not not going to short print it again let me say it's the base set of <laughs> scarlet and violet the new generation this is going to be wildly available and that leads us to ask the question why in the world is it so expensive now before i tell you why it's so expensive if you need a store that you really really can trust to buy your japanese pokemon cards from check out pokeeny.com if you go to pokeeny.com and use code applesauce when you order something you'll get a free booster pack with your order they'll have some of the scarlet and violet japanese boxes up available this weekend but they will be expensive because they are their hands are tied as well as to what the price they have to pay for product. So if you want to get yourself some Japanese Pokemon cards from a place you can trust, definitely check out pokeeny.com. Use code applesauce to get a free booster pack with your order. And like I said, pokeeny, the prices are going to be high uh, like they are going to be anywhere because stores like pokeeny and even myself, we're limited to what we can what we have to pay see here in uh, america you get distributors and then you get distributor pricing when you buy from that distributor and then you can pass on a fair price uh to, to your customers well if you're buying from japan you, you know an american we're not buying from a distributor we're buying from a guy or a connection that is buying from the distributor and so they get that price second hand and they're like okay what can i charge what can i charge these americans and here's the problem is now Japan knows how much Americans are willing to pay for these Pokemon cards. And what's causing all of this, in my opinion, this is being caused by some content creators and streamers that are ripping packs uh, on apps like whatnot and willing to pay 
insane amounts of money so they can get cases of these cards before they even release. So the set releases in Japan today. And there's whatnot streamers and content creators that have had these boxes in America for multiple days. And how do they get that product so early? They're willing to pay two or three times MSRP to get that product super early, meaning they're willing to pay 80 to 90 to $100 per booster box when MSRP is 40 to $45 in order to get that product early. Doesn't matter to them because they're gonna make that money up on the views having that product before anybody else, or they're gonna make that money up because they're gonna be ripping that product live before anybody else and they're gonna get five, six, seven dollars a pack and they're gonna make money hand over fist because they were able to pay somebody who was willing to break the rules and sell them their product from Japan super, 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 super early and they're gonna turn around and turn that into a profit. And what that does, and this is the critical point, this is the crucial thing right here, what that does is that tells the people in Japan that are helping facilitate this, this product from Japan to the US, that tells them that there's Americans willing to pay two times MSRP for a booster box, two and a half times MSRP for a booster box. So when there's whatnot streamers and other streamers and other content creators that have connections over there, that are like, I need, I need a case and I need it on Monday. I know the product comes out in Japan on Friday, but I need it on Monday, uh, five days uh, ahead of time. I'll, I'm willing to pay you $80 a booster box. I'm willing to pay you $85 a booster box. That tells the people in Japan that there's people over here willing to pay twice MSRP and that sets the bar for where the pricing starts. That's why these past few set releases in Japan, we've seen incredibly high prices uh, in order to get stuff over here. Now you can get lucky if you have a reshipper and you can, order, there's certain Japanese websites that you can use and you can get lucky and you can score a box or two. And that works for a lot of people who only want a box or two and that's great. But the vast majority of people, we have to order from other stores, trusted stores like Pokey Any, And we are, they are limited to what they're being charged and you know, if you're working on a profit margin, trying to make 10% profit, 15% profit, well, it doesn't matter how much the box is, you just add that profit on top of it and that's where you have to be. So people wanting to get access to this product super early and finding people that they're willing to pay exorbitant amount of prices in Japan to send to them to get early and then they're gonna recoup all their money because they're gonna dump it before anybody else has it. That sets the bar for the people in Japan. And that's why we're seeing booster boxes of the newest Japanese products for $90 a box, $100 a box. I think Scarlet and Violet's like $230 for a set of the two boxes, which is absolutely insane. What's the solution? I don't freaking know. Uh, be patient, I guess. Uh, it's, it's a bummer that I'm not gonna get Scarlet and Violet to, to offer to, to my subscribers and my viewers, because when I get the Japanese stuff, I always offer it at just a tiny, tiny, tiny markup from what I pay for it. And you guys have loved and enjoyed that because it's an affordable price and it's fun to do and it's fun to open. And I, in good conscience, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy these booster boxes and have to charge $4 for a Japanese pack when I should be able to charge, you know, 250 uh, and offer a fair price. So that's what's going on with Japanese product. It's incredible, the Scarlet and Violet is incredibly expensive and incredibly overhyped and it's our fault. And I honestly don't really know the solution to that. I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know if you enjoyed the content, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe. All that stuff is free for you to do and it really, really helps. And also we did a big live stream the other day giving away a bunch of Hidden Fates booster packs. If you're one of the winners, the winners are flashing across the screen right now. If you are one of the winners, please reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook or Discord or something to claim your prize. You have two weeks to claim your prize and then those prizes are going to be recycled into future giveaways. And if you're a huge Pokemon nerd like I am, check out that video right there. I know you'll love it. And like I always say, find somebody to love and serve today and be the change you want to see in the world. See you next time.